It matches my hat. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, another one in the super simple snack series. When the crave is on the mind, it's on the mind, and you can't get out of the mind. And today, the crave on my mind is bagels topped all kinds of different ways. Well, actually, in this one, four ways. Let me show you my favorite four ways to bagel. All right, Bagels 101. This is a very pedestrian bagel, just the sesame seed bagel, but it is a bagel that lends to a delicious neutral canvas, right? I like everything bagels, I like cheese bagels, I like all kinds of bagels. And to be honest with you, if we still had the great Canadian bagel where they bake them like fresh every day and all that, I would have rather got those, but this is, you know, off the product line, just in the grocery store, but perfect canvas if you're doing multiple bagels. So two little tasks for our savory lunch bagel. Thin red onion off the mandolin. And then a few nice tomato slices, medium thick, not thin, medium thick. Two cream cheeses, one plain, one herb garlic. I just like to do this. I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I hate when I go to pull them out fresh and they don't really spread. So I always take the container right when I open it and I just kind of beat it up for like 30 seconds and I just get it like nice and schmearable because I hate when you go to schmear and it doesn't schmear very well and then you're like ah and the bagel's ripping and falling apart and shit like that so just little simple hacks like this I find in the kitchen to be helpful kind of warms it up and then when you pull out the bagel it just is ready to just smear on like that icing that it should be right okay see 15 seconds of wrist work and he's got a better schmear Okay, so here's my favorite toast on a bagel right here. I'd say this is like a 7.5, almost an 8 out of 10 type toast, right? We're not super dark, but we're not also soft either. We got crunch, but we're not burnt. You know what I mean? Our first bagel up is called the Stank Breath. And that is the Herb Garlic Cream Cheese. Now, when I was younger... I once stayed at my aunt's in Toronto, aunt and uncle. She has since passed, so RIP her, but uh, that was a long time ago. Anyways, she once asked me, do I want to see my teeth marks in it or not, basically, for how the spread was supposed to be for thickness. And y'all know I said teeth marks, baby. I like teeth marks. You gotta get a good amount of schmear on her. Now, if that's not oniony enough, you know your guy has to come in with an extra crispy oniony element, which is fried crispy onions that we add onto the stank breath. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the bagel you eat and then blow somebody out at work with because they're like, what the fuck did you just eat? And you're like, I need to brush my teeth. Okay. Next up is our lunch bagel. On our lunch bagel, we keep it to a classic plain cream cheese, standard. And we get our teeth sinking schmear on there. And then we come in with our tomato slices. I probably could have just done one, honestly, but now nah, we'll keep it to two, it works. And those are we're gonna acquire a salting. All right, you gotta make that tomato pop. Fresh cracked pepper as well. Our super slim onion, red onion. And a little balsamic drizz drops on top. And that right there, my friends, is the lunch bagel. Next up, we have the before dinner bagel. Almost the charcuterie bagel, the cheese plate bagel is more what I mean. Maybe as like a little appetizer before the main meal when you're kind of sitting around the table waiting for the family dinner to cook. It's a, it's a, uh, it's Thanksgiving or something like that. You know, Christmas. I don't know what it is. It's an event. I say this because you have like the plain cream cheese, so it's like cheese plate, but then you come in with a spicy, sweet, red chili heat jam. And you know at No No's House, you're always spreading this with some sort of a sharp aged cheddar 
on top of like a water cracker. Well, you do that here, but just with cream cheese and a bagel instead. So it's like the afternoon snack. Bougie Nana's cheese plate bagel. And last but not least, we all know about a standard PB&J dessert bagel. And I do actually like to save this to last to make because otherwise when you put PB on too hot, it just turns into a puddle of pool and it runs everywhere, which is delicious. But I just couldn't deal with that right now. And for me, this is the only way to PB&J. Strawberry jam, seedless, chunkless, perfect, drizzleable jam with the back of the spoon. It's almost like strawberry baby food. And then we just do a little pushing around. And there we have it. The PB&J dessert bagel. So here we have it, my four ways to bagel. Let's eat them. All right, so my favorite four ways to bagel. There are more ways to bagel, and there's one way that is actually really my favorite, and it's the most simple thing, but we'll talk about that later on. Before we do anything more, we must pour. And this is a crave, like I just had this crave, this crazy bagel crave, and also Alan's peach cocktail. So good, peach cocktail is so banger. But anyways, I was grocery shopping for, it is Thanksgiving weekend in Canada. We do it way different than y'all's down in the States, and um, I got to make a couple dishes to bring to the Thanksgiving cookout, we'll call it, how about that, and uh, I was just in Walmart, and I just saw this Allen's peach juice, and then I saw some girl had bagels, I was like, I could use some bagels, when's the last time I had bagels, it's been forever, when's the last time I had a nice ice cold peach cocktail, also been forever, so good though. Love it. Sip now. One of the best juices absolutely ever. All right, so as you can tell, I take my bagels very seriously. I take all my food very seriously. I just love to prep it nice and make it nice because if you're going to eat something, you might as well make it as nice as possible. So y'all know the sesame seed the stank breath. We're gonna eat them in succession of how you would during the day. So we got our morning bagel where you stink out your coworkers, lunch, afternoon, dessert. Okay. I'm very excited for this. Mm-hmm. Oniony goodness. Garlic tea goodness. Add a little crisp in there. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. One of the main reasons I also really wanted to make a bagel for myself is that I'd say the last times I've ever had bagels were just in a rush, out in the day, whatever, stopping by Tim Hortons, and you get a bagel cream cheese. You ask for a double toast, it still comes out like doughy and not toasted. They smack the cream cheese dead in the center. It's like thick. Not distributed. Correctly. It's just an overall bad bagel experience. So all my recent bagel experiences have been pretty disappointing. But it's you're on the fly. Like the price point and convenience, it's like you can get kind of full for it's like two fifty. And just keep it trucking with your day. It's 
it's just a, uh, it's kind of just like a desperation bagel, really, you know, not a destination bagel. Now, this is a destination bagel because, and I'm hesitant to call it like New York, right? But it's the closest thing to a, like a lox type schmear, but you're never going to catch me eating lox because I don't eat raw fish. I don't know why anybody would. We're bite camming it. But yeah, that, this is that. That lunch bagel. And it's a delicious bagel. Got everything. Creamy fatty. Acidity. That onion kick. Salt, pepper. And that kind of sweet, tangy. Balsamic drizz. A delicious lunch bagel. Clean up aisle five. Slide these bitches into frame together. You've had lunch, you know, you're getting a little peckish late afternoon. And you pull up to, to Nona's crib for a snack before dinner. And this does really resonate with me, with my grandma, because she was always serving up the red chili sweet heat preserves, which is her jam. So this one really reminds me of my Grandmama. Wow. Such an incredible combo. If you never combined one of these sweet heat jellies with uh, with cream cheese. You are missing out, my friend. Look at that. Oh, it just glistens. This uh, Jamish pres preserve just has such a unique flavor that honestly, I don't know how to describe it other than incredibly delicious. They've all been good, but that one, so far, the best. Absolutely. It's time for dessert. That being said, I'm missing a dinner bagel. I don't even know what a dinner bagel would be. Maybe a pizza bagel? Probably. I think a dinner bagel might be a pizza bagel. It could also be a lunch bagel, too. I don't know. But my favorite little dessert bagel. Just a classic PB and J Bay Bay. On the bottom half, the undercarriage for a little extra crunch.
Who doesn't like a PB and J though? A few don't. I don't know. I just don't see how it could ever not be delicious. But like I said, if you're only having a PB and J bagel, maybe both sides. Pop it fresh out, spread the pea. It starts to melt and run everywhere, which is a delicious way to have a PB and J. I like it when it melts and runs and it's super like like that, but had I dressed it first, it just would have created such a mess. But I do love that. And also, I'm so strict about my jam. Miss me with the seeds. Miss me with the chunks. You know who you are? If you get seeds and chunks and shit like that in jam, you probably get extra pulp in your orange juice. Just going to say it. Just saying it out loud. And you guys are weird. I'm calling you out. Who likes chunks? In their jam? Or their OJ? I don't know. You ask me? Them types of peoples? Fit for a straight jacket. Just saying. It matches my hat. Now, one of my favorite bagels, which I didn't have here, is simply a sesame seed bagel, hard toast, like nine, 9.5, almost burning, and then just pooled with butter. And that's it. Just salty, crunchy, fatty, savory amazingness. I know the most simple bagel but i promise you and also the bottom side the crackery so like when it gets real crisp but then there's the other side where you get like all the sesame seeds too and that adds great flavor but that's a real nice bagel anyways my ways to bagel let me know what your ways to bagel how do you bagel there's many ways to bagel i certainly enjoyed it perfect little bagel meal till the next one you know what to do you can live well Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.